don't know if it's just me or you guys, but the energy is a little anxious, a little anxious in the chest, little anxiety in the chest. Um, all right, guys. Um, so I'm going to pull from two different decks. This is my Luna Somnia deck. And then I'm going to pull from the Mystic Mondays. Um, if you guys are interested in the decks that I use, just go to the link in my TikTok bio and visit. It'll say visit my magic shop. All my decks are there. But let's do it. Um, God's Rich Universe, Bank of All Things. What do we need to know about today's energy? Okay. Eight of Cups in the reverse. The Tower in the reverse. Two of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you guys, is uh, the foundation of the reading. Okay. Foundation of the reading is like you guys may be going through a grieving process, grieving a loss, a breakup, the loss, again, of a person, a job, a relationship. Grieving the loss of a, a part of your life that may have never transpired. Leaving a life behind is what I'm hearing. Leaving a life behind. Yeah, judgment. Wow. Okay, Major Arcana is coming out like crazy. I don't have the Eternal Visions deck now. Oh, okay. Interesting. Then we have the Princess of Cups or the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I don't know why I want to. Okay. You guys, I'm going to grab a third, a third um, tarot deck. Hold on. I don't think I've ever done this, you guys three tarot decks. I very rare. No, I have never done this. I have never done this. Okay. I haven't touched this deck in a while. Probably like a month at least. But let's see why. The astrology is a little crazy right now, you guys. Um, we have a new moon in Pisces on the second, we will be in the new moon energy starting tomorrow. Um, if anyone would like to join the, um, the new moon in Pisces Reiki, let me know in the comments. If you don't know what that is, I host a Reiki session every new and full moon. This new moon, uh, or new moons represent new cycles, new beginnings. So if you guys need help leaving the past behind old cycles behind, um, old behaviors, mindsets behind releasing negativity while clearing the way and making space for your abundance, for your creativity, for your intuition. Let me know if you guys are interested in signing up. That's what the focus is going to be in the Reiki session. It's about an hour or so. So Reiki is energy clearing. So I'll be clearing out your chakras. I'll also be doing a group reading regarding what the new cycle has in store for us. All right, so let me know in the comments if you guys are interested. Perhaps I called a pull third deck. Okay. Okay, so if you guys are interested in the Reiki, the new moon in Pisces Reiki, um, all you have to do is go to the link in my TikTok bio. And you have, I have cash up and PayPal options. The energy exchange for an hour session is only $22.22. Okay. Um, you can pay through cash up or PayPal. If you need Venmo, let me know in the comments. My moderator, Cassie, will post it. But the energy exchange for a full hour healing session for the new moon in Pisces is only $22.22. I feel very weird today. I feel like maybe some of you, like your blood pressure is off, your anxiety is high. It could be excite excited 
anxiety, excited anxiety. I don't know. It's very interesting. So five of, okay, five of cups, page of, sorry, princess of cups in this deck, and then the six of wands. This is a message that's been coming through a lot lately. Five of Cups, whatever you're grieving definitely has something to do with your inner child. This grieving, this, the Five of Cups to me is a card of healing because the Six of Cups is next, which is a card of the inner child, um, the past. So you're definitely grieving something from the past, letting go of the past, take it as it resonates. But I feel like definitely inner child stuff, it's much deeper than the situation you think you're grieving. Um... But also, you guys, this message has been coming through. Whatever your loss is, whatever trauma you're healing, okay, whatever inner child wounds you're healing right now, you're going to use it to, to, to create something. Could be a business, could be just create a new life for yourself, um, a sense of freedom that you've been wanting. Okay, a lot of you are going into entrepreneurship, okay? This could be also be a new cycle of confidence, trusting yourself, um, a, a new cycle of uh, no more inner conflict, okay? You know exactly the direction you want to take your life in and you're charging forward with confidence. Right now, I feel like your guides are really infusing a lot of messages of confidence in you, that you're beautiful, you're protected, you're safe. You can do this. You can do this. Okay, I'm just looking at the, the cards below these, the Eight of Wands, the Princess of Swords, and the Queen of Wands in the reverse. We also have Eight, Eight. We have Eight, Eight. We have, um, we have Two, Two. All right. But I like to call that out. But this is the foundation of the reading, you guys. So uh, this is a big call for, a um, call out and confirmation for some of you. Take it as it resonates. Continue doing your shadow work because it's working. Continue to do your shadow work because it's working. All right, let me know in the comments if you guys are doing your shadow work. Um, allow yourself to feel the heavier emotions, the pain, the sadness, the anger, the resentment. It's okay to feel that. You're human. You're not, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. Being human means you feel the spectrum of emotions. Shadow work is facing your darkness. Okay, we have, so it's a theme of duality. All right, so we have our light, right? And then we have our dark. <laughs> we have our light and our darkness. So in this life, it's about integration, acceptance of both. Okay, acceptance of both. Anyway, let's hop into the first row. Let's hop into the first row. Eight of cups in the reverse, the judgment card and the king of wands. <sighs> Okay, you guys are still, you guys have not walked away from something because you're still kind of like teetering on making a judgment call. The King of Wands is, is here saying, be confident in the decision that you're making. Be confident in what you're walking away from because something is, is like dead done over with. A cycle needs to end. Okay, you, it's time to walk away from the past and embrace your awakening. Okay, because in walking away from the past, walking away from this situation, this person, whatever, it, yeah, it's going to rock your world, but like in the best way, but it's going to give you a lot of confidence that you have to know that you have the strength to walk away, to leave it behind fully. Now, this could be walking away from a person. This could be walking away from, again, uh, walking away from fearing your shadow that, that a lot, that's what a lot of this is. Um, a lot of you guys fear your shadow, fear your darkness when it's been a part of you your entire life. Like you are not an angel. You are not all light. Sorry. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I, I'm not either. Okay. You're human. You're meant to experience anger, resentment, hatred. Like it, it happens. Okay. The thing is though, it's about the balance between the light and the dark. All right, not acting on the darkness, but integrating it rather, accepting that it's there because when you accept it, you re you can release it. Okay, not everything. Okay, this is to me. This is saying uh, walking away from black and white thinking. Like I I have to go this way or that way. I can only do this or do that. 
No, you can integrate things. You, you can mix white and black together and make gray. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, it's just, you guys still have to make like a big time judgment call. Like, are you willing to walk away from the old way of doing things, your old way of thinking? This is like, I like this reading because it's, it's about you guys. It's about you guys. Because the eight of cups in the reverse, when uh, cards are in reverse, it usually means like an internal change, an internal shift. Doesn't always mean like, uh, you not doing something. Okay. I feel like you are walking away from emotional habits and mindsets that do not serve you that were, could be thoughts that were like depleting your confidence. Um, thoughts that were causing like scattered thoughts that were kind of clouding up the direction you want to take in your life. The King of Wands is all about confidence, knowing the direction that they want to go in life, um, with passion. Okay. So I feel like you guys are also leaving behind a cycle of not going after what you're passionate about, whether that's a person, a job, um, something in your spirituality, whatever it is. Okay. Take it as it resonates. We've got almost 200 people in here. So I'm trying to like hit all the marks for you guys. I feel like something someone said to you triggered you. Something someone said to you or was said to you, whether recently or in the past, triggered you and you have a lot of anger around it or a lot of heavy emotion around it. And you're like, why can't I move past it? Because you're supposed to feel it, beloved. I feel like a lot of you are stuffing it down. You're stuffing down the anger. You're like, I don't feel angry. I'm spiritual. I don't need to feel angry. I don't, I'm not resentful. Oh my God, we hit 30K already. Holy crap. Let's go for 50 Way to go, guys. We're, we're such a great team. I love you guys. Let's go for 50K. I'm very goal-oriented. Anyway, um, the, re the spiritual reason behind this conversation, whatever this person said, whatever was said to you, triggered you, is because you're meant to feel it. Because you're meant to feel it. Step into your anger. Step into into the sadness feel it sit in it okay don't be engulfed by it swallowed by it you have control there right but some of you are so focused on i'm i'm spiritual like i can get over anything well beloved the only way you're going to get through your anger is to feel it that like those heavy emotions will bring you right back down Um, if you guys would like a reading, the link is in my TikTok bio. You can book a private. Okay. Um, but that was the first row. Who's ready for the second? Who's ready for the second row? Yeah. Also, you guys, don't wait on someone to walk away from you to make a decision. Don't wait on someone to walk away from you to make a decision. Don't ever, ever base your decisions on someone else's actions. Don't ever base your decisions, especially regarding your life, based on someone else's actions. It will steal, steer you wrong every time. It will steer you wrong every time. Okay, so let's hop into row two. The tower in the reverse, justice, and the hanged man in the reverse. A lot of major arcanas. Oh, this entire row is major arcanas. Okay, so major arcanas, you guys, are soul themes, life lessons, just so you're aware of what that means. Yeah, a lot of this is internal. Um, the tower is like an internal shift, an internal breaking down of foundations. Something rocked your world internally. This is a lot of emotional upheaval, a lot of internal shifts and changes. But the funny thing is, 
all these internal shifts and changes, these like internal challenges, um, think feeling like you're emotionally breaking down is what is bringing you back into balance. So you can be built back up to be emotionally stronger and to shift your perspective, to look at things from a, a very, 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 in a different light and to do things differently, to act differently, to respond differently. We have heavy Libra energy too, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah. Lots of water energy and fire. Also, um, what this is saying too is embrace change. The more that you embrace change, the more things are going to work in your favor, the more you're going to reap your karmic rewards, okay? The tower in the reverse can also signify you guys are not embracing change, you're resisting it. Okay, you may be resisting it and refusing to look at it as a positive. Maybe some of you fear change and the, sh the big time shift for you is to embrace it. Look at change as a positive no matter what it is. No matter what it is. Um, Now, who's ready for the third row? Who's ready for the third row? Third row, tell me in the comments. Keep tapping the screen, guys. We are so close. It's 10-10 right now, closing out cycles. Um, we're almost at 50K. We're almost at 50K. Likes, I mean. Yeah, I like this message a lot better. Like the last couple days, it's been about like love or like another person and blah, 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 blah. But know that you guys are successfully overcoming whatever this change or challenge is with that six of wands on the bottom of the deck. It's just, it's a lot, it's a lot of emotional work because it's inner child stuff. All right, but anyway, uh, yes, I go live every day. Anyway, let's pop into the third row. <laughs> now here, I'm gonna bring in a little bit about relationships, but not so much. Two of wands. Okay, two of wands, planning, preparing, considering what direction you want to go, maybe what direction you want to take a business, a creative idea, a career, something you're passionate about. What's the next step? Two of cups regarding a relationship could also be regarding a partnership in business um, or career, maybe a new job that's in alignment with you. Um, or it could just be the relationship you have with yourself. Look at the different colors. Okay, divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay, page of wands. Because you guys are here making a plan, preparing, really thinking about the relationship you have with someone else and with yourself, either or, or both. But, and you know you want to do it different. You want to approach it differently. You want to approach it differently. And you, you, there's a, a big time willingness to approach it differently because you know that the old way of approaching it did not work, did not work. It's not serving you anymore. Wow. All right, I'm gonna pick one Oracle. Wow, okay, so we have energy. Now these have zodiac associations too, so let's see. Energy is card number 28. So that is the number one, because two plus eight is 10. Another 10 closing out of cycles. One plus zero is one. It's an oracle deck, which is why I'm reading from the book. Hmm. Adventure and rapid progress are indicated and it is specifically anchored to your true purpose and the direction you are currently taking. What have I been saying, guys? Oranges indicate that anything is possible, although you need to get that willpower working hard. There will be challenges, but you can overcome them. Guys, this is literally what I said this entire reading. Um, and someone around you may need extra support at this time. Be wary of apathy, not being empathetic. 
of losing interest too soon before giving something a chance and of negativity. Okay, so before walking away, remember what I said, there's a judgment call you're gonna need to make regarding the direction you wanna go, okay? So considering all the options, but that's the bot, that's the bottom of the energy card. Now, this is associated with the sun. Um, the keywords are wealth, divination, love, luck, and willpower. Now, we also got the luck card. Oh my God. So this is card number 31. Card number 31. So that is the number four, new foundations, reaping rewards after hard work. All right, 31, let's see. You may find you are right in the middle of a situation at present or that something is stuck in circles. Oh my God. And this could be caused by overreactions. What did I say about you guys changing the way you react and you talk? Or too much interference. It's time to let things progress at their own pace. I literally have been saying this. Oh my God. Limes bring luck with them because this is the lime card. So take a chance and be ready for the ups and downs this energy brings, but know that time is on your side. Don't over plan and be open to letting complexities unravel on their own. So the key words here are awareness, harmony, inspiration, anxiety. What did I say earlier before I read? I said, I feel like anxiety in the collective and protection. So guys, both cards, um, the planet that rules these cards is the sun. The sun, new beginnings. New beginnings, regardless. <gasps> Guys, we hit 50k likes. Oh my God. Thank you for the call out cast 555. That could be um, an angel number for you guys. Um, but you guys, that was the collective reading for today. All right, short and sweet. Short and sweet because I'm going to do a much longer weekly collective reading tomorrow. So make sure you catch me tomorrow morning um, at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I'm um, really... Uh, let me know what resonated in the comments. Let me know what resonated in the comments for you guys. But also, um, if you guys would like to join the new moon in Pisces Reiki, okay, you can join through the link in my TikTok bio. Okay. The energy exchange through cash up or PayPal is $22.22. So if you guys would like to join the new moon in Pisces Reiki, you can pay through Cash App or PayPal. Um, just make sure you put your email and put new moon. New moon and then your email. Yeah. All right. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with me, the link is in my TikTok bio. And one last announcement, tarot school registration is officially open. So if you guys like my style of reading, if you would like to learn how to connect with your 